Five sixteen. Now, while we continue to see a decline in cases of coronavirus across the county, we're seeing an uptick in the number involving the UK variant, which is said to be much more contagious. As ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains, some experts worry this variant could undermine this recent progress. Restaurants are back open for outdoor dining, salons are welcoming customers, and gyms are once again open outside. Just as life starts to look a bit more normal in San Diego, there is a new warning about COVID-19. I think we're at a really critical period and we need to be extremely cautious about reopening. Natasha Martin is an infectious disease modeler with UCSD. She says the pandemic's next few months could be the hardest. And we need to be able to quickly pivot um, and potentially, you know, restrict our activities in, and increase our efforts at social distancing. Martin is talking about the variant known as B117 or the UK variant. San Diego County has the highest number of cases in the state. Latest numbers show 122 confirmed cases with another probable 46 for a total of 168. A man in his 70s died from the mutated strain of the virus last month. But the question is whether we can um, reduce transmissibility and vaccinate enough people so that when this variant becomes the dominant strain, it will not lead to a, a surge that could potentially overwhelm our healthcare systems. The variant is believed to be 50 to 70 percent more contagious. Martin says even though cases and hospitalizations are coming down, masks and social distancing are more important than ever. Otherwise, she says the county could see an explosion of cases far worse than any previous surge. What we've seen already um, in this epidemic is that when we get surges, the surges can come quickly and they can overwhelm our healthcare system. Right now, the variant makes up about 5% of total cases, but Martin believes it will become the dominant strain in the county in a few weeks. Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. And we expect to get new numbers from the county on those UK variant cases tomorrow, but there are no cases as of right now locally of the South African or the Brazilian variants.